new roads don't stay new for very long, and before you know it, crews can be right back on the road that you thought they just finished with. But what they're actually doing is preventative care that will keep us all rolling along for another 25 to 35 years. The sooner you can put a treatment on it, the more it extends the life. Um, a good portion of the wear and tear, the oxidation, some of the initial cracking usually happens within the first two years. So we like to get on there. You can get it with a, a thinner, less expensive seal coat at that time. The city's pavement preservation program takes the average 20 year lifespan of a road and extends it to much longer. And while that can mean some lane restrictions or a closure of a few hours, it prevents much more intrusive and costly road repairs. Our slurries, uh, the seal coat, anything like that, it, you're looking at a minimal disruption of maybe a five or six hour closure versus, you know, you, you do a full reconstruct in weeks, months. We try to keep it the least invasive as we can. Crews start monitoring the wear and tear of roads from the time they're built. We go through, we, we video all the roads. We have the, the, the town broke out into three zones. We do one of the zones annually. And so all of that data, we come in and then by the performance, by the budget, by all these different factors, that kind of helps us decide, you know, which treatments, where, how often, and then it's kind of up to us to prioritize the roads. Hours and hours of planning go into these pavement preservation projects long before you even see a road work sign or workers on the streets. We loop in as many stakeholders as we possibly can, the school districts, the businesses, and we start outreach, social media, all of that stuff. So, and we do, we try really hard to schedule it at times where we're not impacting people in a negative way. It's difficult, <laughs> it is hard, because there's always something going on. Crews also have to plan around the time of year because some of the products that they use are temperature sensitive. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the program or see an upcoming schedule, you can visit surpriseaz.gov PPP.